So Drake just dropped Honestly Nevermind out of nowhere, and I need to milk this for views as fast as humanly possible, so let's make a beat from off the album. First, before we even open our DAW, we need to get into the Drake mindset. Cause he can't make a Drake song without feeling like Drake, you know? Now, you might be thinking to yourself, Drake's worth like a trillion dollars, how could I ever be like him? Fear not my friend, I'll transform you into him in two easy and simple steps. Step one, become a pedophile. Easier said than done, I hear you saying, but fear not is not as difficult as you may think. Drake's got it down to practically a science, so let me walk you through his method. Step one, you gotta find a target. Any young female celebrity under the age of 18 will do. Go big on this one. The more famous the person is, the better. I mean, like, you're trying to be Drake after all. Try to get someone who's a household name, like, think, I don't know, Millie Bobby Brown, Billie Eilish, etc, etc. Now step two, text them completely normal and appropriate things like, I don't know, I miss you, or give them love advice. Stuff like that. I love him. We just texted each other the other day and he was like, I miss you so much. I was like, I miss you more. You don't want to be weird now. I mean, come on. Now, step three, wait until the very millisecond it turns midnight at the beginning of their 18th birthday and then post a picture with your new girlfriend. Congrats. Now, step four, this is completely optional, but if you really want to get into the Drake mindset, I suggest you do this. Get a huge, massive concert with the world watching bring a minor up on stage with you not being a minor and then give him a kiss. You know, no big deal. So now that you're a full-fledged groomer pedophile, it's time for your physical transformation. Throw out any shred of masculinity you have left in you. It's shopping time. So first, head to your local thrift shop and try to find a cute, oversized sweater. Something really, really feminine, you know? And next, get those disc really cute thigh-high leggings. And then, put on some blush, maybe draw a cute little heart in your hair, do a little kissy face, and then hold up your hands like a little kitty paw, and then done. Super kawaii. So first, open up your DAW. For this track, we want to put in as little effort as humanly possible. So if you ever find yourself feeling proud about the beat that you're making, scrap that immediately. We want to make like a dance song, but not, not like a good one, you know? So for this track, we may as well start with the drums. First, just find the most bland, generic dance kick you can and then drag it in. I'll just use the FL stock drums for this one. Then quickly make a Jersey Club pattern with it and then you're done that's it do the same with the bass find the most bland generic dance bass you can and then follow the jersey club pattern with it exactly we don't want to get too crazy here with like music theory or interesting bass patterns so we'll just stick to the easy notes next we'll add on the jersey club bed squeak and then i'll also add a little mischievous sounding cartoon tiptoe sound to give it that classic drake feel And then, so for the vocals, I just found a generic R&B type vocal from Splice. Whoa, yeah, yeah. Give me one more chance. Pitched it down and then gave it some format to give you that irritating Drake processed vocal kind of vibe. Whoa, yeah, yeah. Give me one more chance. For the last part, for that classic Drake magic. <laughs> So if you like this video, please be sure to give it a like and if you want to hear actually good dance music from an actually good producer, be sure to check out my music. It'll be linked at the end of this video and you can find it in the playlist or by checking out my channel. And I'll also be doing more tutorials like this soon on genuinely good artists, so be sure to subscribe if you're interested in that as well. Thank you guys, see you soon.